All right, here is a video review for a couple of cool new figures. These are the 5-2 Toys Mega Box uh, Ninja Turtles figures. Uh, they, you can see they transform into boxes, much like their Beast Box and Mega Box. They've done Predator and Alien uh, li you know, licensed figures before as well, as well as their own unique animal designs. We've seen some really cool ones, the Beetle and... Uh, Mantis just recently. There's a lot, of, a lot of good stuff coming in. But now they've done Ninja Turtles, and they're really, really cool. And they are, uh, as I mentioned, uh, actually officially licensed. Like here's Michelangelo's box, and you can see they've got actually got the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they are fully licensed, approved figures. These are not uh, knockoffs or, or, or anything like that. They're they're fully, fully approved by um, by Nickelodeon. They've even got the little hologram here on the back. Um, Right now, Michelangelo and Raphael are out. Donatello and Leonardo are coming soon. Uh, hopefully hopefully sooner than later, because now that I've got two of them, I'd really like to have the other two just to complete the team. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they turn into little boxes. They come with TMNT-themed box chargers that got kind of a sewer thing. These are separate pieces that snap together in different ways. You can attach them top to bottom like this. They can snap together side to side like that on either side. Um, but little storage boxes that... Uh, you can just slide them right in, and they store like that. They're really fun. Um, because we have two of them here, what I'm going to do is transform Michelangelo into the box so you can see that way, show off a couple other features, and then turn Raphael back into uh, a turtle so you can see the transformation in both directions this time. So we'll get right to it. Uh, but yeah, posability-wise, um, there's a ball joint at the neck, at the head, and a hinge there as well. Um, the little bandana bits are on ball joints here and can be posed however you want on the back. Uh, the turtle shell is extended here. Uh, you can collapse it for transformation. It's a little bit more secure if you just leave it up, but you can extend the back shell to make it a little larger here in turtle mode. But So they've got the ball joint there. They've got, uh, shoulders came on, but they've got a, a ball joint there at the shoulder, a ball joint right above the elbow, and then a hinge joint below the uh, little pad there on the back. Uh, a swivel at the wrist and then a hinge at the wrist. They've got ball joints at the hips and then the hip joint itself. You, if you want to move them out of the way to get more posability, can lower down a little bit, make them a little taller, but also give you a little bit more flexibility to move the legs around. You've got a hinge at the knee and a swivel. Um, that actually is not supposed to come out, but I mean, then you've got a ball joint at the foot and then the toes and the heel are all individually posable. So you can actually get a pretty decent uh, amount of movement out of them in turtle mode. There we go. So yeah, overall very nice. Uh, to turn Mikey into a box, we'll go ahead and take his nunchucks out of his hand. And we'll start here by, right back here at the back of the shoulder, pop those off of those pegs like that. And then uh, collapse, like I said, the shell's down like this collapse both this piece, the small piece in and then the lower piece up into the shell like that. He does also have these tabs. They both have tabs so you can store his weapons on his back, although the the, uh, the nunchucks just have that string. They, you, there's no way to peg them together, so you could put like maybe one, store one version across his back. We'll, we'll use those when we go to box mode. Uh, and there's like the Viacom trademark there too. So again, fully licensed. Um, so yeah, it, it works a little better for Raphael but you can put the nunchucks on his back like that if you want. They, they will kind of hang a little awkwardly. But yeah, so open those up, and then the belt pieces here, the side of the belt pieces, uh, pull those should, not just the gray piece, they should come out on the yellow peg. They will, sometimes they will pop off uh, coming around here. They're on a little ball joint here, um, but just kind of bring those out to the side, and then you can unpeg this from the front and slide this whole assembly back and get that out in the open like that. Once that's done, take the bandana pieces, fold them up and tab them into the side to secure them like that. Turn Mikey's head all the way around like this. You'll see that slot there. It's going to peg in on this tab here. These black panels here, open them up once, open them up twice, open them all the way up like that. And then you bring his head, untab it, bring this down, fold these, uh, Pull these up and around like that so they're tucked in and then again peg this tab into the back of his head here just like that and then these panels right here 
pull his arms, extend his chest open like that, and then these panels right here fold in. And then this panel, bring this panel down, flip this middle panel up and around like that, flip that panel back up like that. The arms, rotate them, so you want, you want to rotate them so the hinge goes back. So this, the ball joints are at the back of the arm and these little post holes are uh, on the front. And then bring his arm around like that, uh, fold the, uh, the wrist at this joint, fold it down but yeah, fold it so that those fold around back and then this tab on his forearm is going to tab into the bicep here, the bicep piece like that. So fold them around like that and then fold the whole assembly in at this hinge. So there's some, there's a peg hole here on the back of the hand that's going to peg onto these holes on either side here inside the shell piece. So just fold that around. And if you don't have it lined up perfectly, it's not hard to wiggle those into place and then fold these pads around. So those posts right there are sticking out, and then this is gonna fold up with these open. This is gonna fold up and around, and just kind of go over, and then these two posts are gonna go into the back of the shell here. And it may take a little bit of finagling to get everything to line up uh, and tab up correctly, but again, if you've got everything in the right spot, it doesn't take a whole lot to get these to settle down. Into the, there you go, just clip them in like that. These pieces rotate around, up, and then fold around a peg into those holes on the shell. Around like this. Just like that. And then these pieces, uh, if, once they're out like this, you can see there's a little cutout both in the interior gray piece. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about that for another step, but so the interior gray piece, you can see that cut out. Now, Raphael on mine, one of the gray, the gray pieces were swapped, but these are not uh, knurled pins, they're very easy to just push out and fix that piece. So if you have that issue, if the cutout in the gray piece and the brown piece don't match, swap the sides. Um, but then fold them flat like that. And uh, this whole piece here, uh, lower, the, with, from the brown belt down to the bottom of the plaster, plastron uh, comes out. It's on a ball joint, it kind of wiggles. Um, helps maybe actually if I'm, I'm get these out of the way here. Bring the forward. See that that will like to pop off. But uh, come on. There we go. So wiggle that so it's loose and rotate that all the way around like that. It can, it can stay loose for right now. These pieces rotate them so on that ball joint so this inner gray piece is facing up. Uh, close the toes on this. Uh, turn the whole foot around so that the knee pad is once again in the front. And then fold this down and around. Rotate this foot so these, the toes kind of go to the inside of this and extend, extend the joint there. Because this is going to fold around. And then this tab right here is going to tab into right here. And once you've got that done, if you haven't done this, you just want to make sure that this rectangular slot is on the outside of this assembly. Fold the knee pad down to the front. And then this is going to tab up into here, you can see there's a tab on this green piece that's gonna tab into the front of the, the shell here like that. Just like that, and then you're gonna open this up and this tab is gonna go into this rectangular piece. So even, but even if you don't have this perfectly straight in line on that ball joint or on that swivel, um, it's a ball joint on the foot, uh, it's not hard to wiggle that in and just, just peg that in like that. And we'll do the same over here on this leg. I'll go again, ball joints and twisting. If you don't twist them just right, uh, I can want to pop those off. Here, bring that around, bring that around, fold up the foot, extend that piece, fold it around, fold out that rectangle piece, flip that down, fold that up again, tab it into the shell, fold that around and lock it. This piece can now, again, have, the, have this uh, out, on the yellow, out on the yellow joint, the, extend the ball joint, and then fold that open bit up around that post. And then this can plug back in to there, and then this folds up and pegs right in to those tabs right there. And that pretty much is the box. You, you can store the weapons. Um, you just put this one, tab one of the sides of the nunchuck up here. I like to do it with the string facing up. And then this one kind of comes down around here. You can open up these back up if you want to get like some clearance for the string. And then the, one, the other half pegs on 
right there onto that thing and it fits right into this groove. If you want this a little cleaner, I found it is possible to, uh, you can do this up in a way where that string comes above that post and then you tab it in and then you tab it in right there onto that side post and then that kind of tucks the string a little tighter so it's not loose and getting in the way. It's springy enough and it doesn't interfere with anything, it's just like a string. So it, it, it's not hard to move out of the way for anything else you're doing, but I just find it's easier to keep it a little cleaner by tucking it behind these posts. So yeah, we'll just pull ahead and peg that one in right there, bring that up through there, close that one up, and then just kind of hold the string. Oh, we didn't get it all the way up through there. I'm gonna make sure that goes all the way up under that this little kind of fin piece so you have the clearance to go around that post. Then go around there, tuck that in, and then tab it on to the side. And there is Michelangelo. As a completed box, you can see Raphael's piece weapons just split into two pieces. Two pieces tab on here, two pieces peg in here, and that's all there is to uh, store in his. He doesn't have any connections between the two. But there are the two of them in box form. And this is important because Either one of these, like I'll show you two different transformations on these, but either one of them can do it. Either one of these can be either one of the things I'm about to show you. So for Michelangelo, we'll go ahead and we'll tilt him up so his shell is on top. And we'll unto these belt pieces, bring them around here, and then the gray piece inside of there, there's a hinge on it in the middle. There's this rotating bit here, but you fold that around and push it in and push this in. And again, this gray tab will tab into the right there. So lock that in, lock in that gray tab on this side, and then they'll slide on that thing to come together just like that. And then this piece, uh, you wanna kind of rotate it down and then snap it. You can see there's a slot there uh, to, to kind of snap that into place. Uh, you, you, it helps, honestly, if you slide it that way first and then rotate it down and around. So take that and right there on the top of that little wheel, push it away from the thing. And then, uh, and again, you may need to collapse this a little bit to get it around there. Helps if you do the wheels first before the bumper. Got a little ahead of myself there. But just do it like that, and that, that part's done. And again, you can do the same thing to Raphael. For Raphael, or, or whoever you want to be in front. And then on this one, you can leave the weapons attached. We're gonna take these panels, uh, untab them and fold them straight out to the side like that. We will do the same thing with extending the wheels down here, just until they click. They don't come down super far. There's just enough clearance there, but slide those down. And then same thing with the bumper, but instead of going around to this edge, it, you can see there's the same kind of tabs here on the belt. We're going to do the same thing, but instead of tabbing them down here for the back, they're going to go into the front and the wheels aren't going to rotate. They're just going to go straight down. So fold that in so it tabs into the belt. And then again, slide it on that joint until these peg together. And you can, yeah, there you go. You can see what that looks like. And then make sure this stays tabbed in. And then once that's done, this piece right here folds down. It comes out a little bit and then it will tab in right down here to the front. And then once that's done, you put the two halves together these are the, the post holes on the biceps. So you just put them together and fold those around the weapon on the shell to lock them together. And now you have the turtle van. It's not 100% exact, but you know, it's got the shell on the back. It's got the windows. Uh, personally, I like to, like, even though these stay wide like this, I like to collapse that in a little bit. I think it makes this lower bit, give, it gives a little bit more definition to the front. It makes that kind of look like the front grille of the cab, whereas there it's just kind of a wide bit, but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, the instructions say to leave it open, but that's, that's just my personal preference. But then it, and it rolls along just fine. And like I said, any turtle can be the front, any turtle that can be the back. So if you have, once Leonardo and Donatello come out, you can have two turtle vans. You could have a turtle van with Michelangelo in front and Donatello in the back, Leonardo in the front, Raphael in the back. You can mix and match them around. Either one can be the front or back of either one of the two turtle vans. Uh, they all have the distinct uh, different colors like the old toys did. But yeah, and you make the turtle van. And that's just really kind of cool. 
And then, like I said, uh, I'll show you how to transform from box back to, uh, to a turtle. So we'll go ahead and put him back in the box mode, which is just reversing what we just did. Collapse the wheels up, fold these back around, extend that out. This is the only part that I find a little bit difficult is getting these things to slide back in and fold back into place. Uh, but if you do what I just did right there, where you kind of take it, well, okay, push it in back in. And then flip that back around. Oh, I forgot to, the other thing you're supposed to do for vehicle mode, and I forgot to do this. Uh, just, just once this, once this is loose, just pop that out and flip out the little, these little tabs are the, are the side view mirrors. So I didn't do that 100% correct. But uh, if you got the once you've got these out of the way, it's it's not hard. These just just untab those. Just make sure that's not tabbed in, and then flip the uh, flip the mirror out. There we go. Let's kind of try to this back together. So yeah, there there's the there's the front of the van with the uh, with the mirrors out. A minor detail, but it, it is something I forgot. But anyway, I'll get back to box. Technically, yes, I didn't have to fold those back around because we're immediately just going to fold them right back out to where they were. But uh, let's get the full, let's get the full experience of going from box turtle to uh, to full ninja turtle. There we go. So there's the box. And like I said, right off the bat, you can go ahead and take the, the weapons off of there and take these, unpeg these bits from here, and go ahead and put them together. They will go. Uh, there, there is an, a notch tab, so they will only go together like this. And admittedly, they don't exactly line up like Psy, but for the purposes of what we're doing here, they're fine. So just do that, put those together, set them off to the side for right now. So yeah, come back down here. Again, you can untab these, these bits, fold the legs out, uh, unpop these panels and just fold them back around to cover that wheel. Make sure the wheels are snapped all the way up, and then... Flip the leg down and around, rotate this back around to the front, collapse that back together, and then flip out the heel and toes, and rotate them around to the front of the leg, and then bring the leg back down and around here on Ninja Turtle. And same over here, bring that down, rotate it around, doesn't matter what order you do it in. Collapse that back up, and the legs are done. Uh, come back here. Pop the shell apart like that. Fold the arms out like that. Uh, open this panel up. This is this can be a little tricky to get this middle panel to come loose, but once it does, just fold that back up and around like that. Uh, flip these panels. You don't need them to flip. You can see that they're going to block. If these are closed up, this won't collapse. You need to get them out. They just kind of sit and fill in the sides in full turtle mode. If you flip them all the way out for right now, it's fine, but just get those out of the way so you can close this back up and then collapse that shell together like that. Uh, go ahead and untab this and rotate this whole lower half around like that. You can go ahead at this point if you want and snap that back into place. Uh, pop the head off of there, bring the arms out, uh, flip these panels back out to the side, and then these panels are gonna untab, fold around to the side, just like we did before and then fold in the small flaps and then fold these in so they sit like that. So fold those all the way in and then fold those about 90 degrees. And then this comes back up, sits up like that, bring the shoulders around, snap that onto the back of the neck piece and then these shoulder pieces onto those little tabs. Uh, then, like I said, these just kind of fold into the space. They don't fold all the way in, they just fold into the side there. Bring the arm down, flip the uh, elbow pad back up, flip the wrist out of that joint and push it in. Same over here, flip the elbow pad back up, arm down and around at the joint, wrist back down and snapped in. Nope, that came loose. And then these panels rotate up and around. Uh, this post will collapse back into the belt and then the gray tab on the inside will tab right in here to this hinge. I just gotta get it lined up right, there we go. Just tap that in and lock it. Rotate that, collapse it back in and lock it. 
uh, turn his head around, untab his little bandana bits, and again, you can position, they're on bold wrench, you can position those however you want. Uh, and again, he looks just fine if you don't extend the shell and then you don't, it doesn't rattle around, but technically you can extend this middle bit and that lower bit to just kind of bring the shell down a little bit. And there is Raphael in his uh, full turtle mode, Ninja Turtle mode, robot mode. He, they are kind of robotic. And then you just give him his weapons, which again, uh, in the same vein, uh, they don't they don't tuck into his belt. Unfortunately, they have the same little slot, but you can store them on his shell on those shell tabs. If you just want him to have one or want to have both of them tucked back there, you can do that. And has all the same posability that Michelangelo does. So just really neat, you know, from box. Oh, I forgot to collapse his wheels. Oh, he hasn't. I haven't turned him back into a box uh, from his car bit half, but um, come on. There we go. Just slap him back into box mode as well. So they go from box to turtle and a very cool and uh, fun little figures. Like I said, these came from Show Z store. Um, they do have a new site. Um, and I'm not sure if you say uh, if it's like Gundamit, like a play on Gundamit, or if it's just Gundam It or Gundam IT. Uh, but that is how it's spelled, Gundam IT. Gundam like the uh, anime mechs, uh, G-U-N-D-A-M-I-T dot com uh, is their new site. You can see a link right down there in the video description, both to the website and to the Turtles. Uh, you can get there. You can log in with your ShowZ password if you already have a ShowZ store account. Um, so, yeah, that's their new site. It's run by the same people. And uh, that's where you should go. Uh, and, again, if you already have a ShowZ store account, you just log in using that right there on Gundam IT. So yeah, uh, real quick, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and turn Michelangelo back into his self. And there are the two of them together. Really looking forward to Leo and Donnie coming out uh, to have the whole group, but uh, just because they're, they're just fun. On top of just the fact that they can turn into boxes in the Ninja Turtle vans, they're just fun little Ninja Turtle representations. Fully licensed, which is cool. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, uh, get them at uh, GundamIT.com. Again, link in the description. And uh, enjoy them, because like I said, I'm, I'm really having a lot of fun with them. They're like Beast Box, Mega Box, 5-2 Toys does a lot of really cool things in this turning into a box thing they've got going on. And to see uh, some fun little Ninja Turtles come out of it is really cool.